Ten oh six. Somebody accused me of something that I did not do. I may have got a little angry at them, but and said some things. But it's okay. They were mistaken. I should have said some things. So, I forgive them. Now. Let's get started. I had dialing or some wallpaper because I haven't taken it down in years because I'm lazy. Ooh. This is going to be a big chunk of uh, curses from Mount Ebel. E B A L. Pay attention to these, okay? This is going to be Deuteronomy chapter 27 verses 9 through 26. This may have... Yes, this whole thing you may want to keep in mind for later. Actually, there's been coming a lot and batteries to be charged. Okay. This is going to be held against Israel for later. If you're wondering. This is a standard by which Israel shall be held against. By their own agreement, it shall be held against them. So, let's get into it. Then Moses and the Levitical priest said to all the Israelites, Be silent, Israel, listen. No, be silent, Israel, and listen. You have now become the people of the Lord your God, obey the Lord your God, and follow his commandments and decrees that I give you today. <laughs> On the same day Moses commanded the people, when you have crossed the Jordan, these tribes shall stay on Mount Gerizim, G-E-R-I-Z-M, to bless the people. Simeon, Levi, Judah, Ischar, I-S-S-A-C-H-A-R, Joseph, Benjamin, Joseph and Benjamin. Yes, I don't know how to spell, pronounce words I never heard before. And these tribes, or oh, remember their pronunciation, so stay on Mount Ebal, E-B-A-L, oh, I probably did. Pronounce to pronounce curses. Oh wait, to bless the people. I think I'm of the first one, and to pronounce curses. Reuben, Gad, G A D, Asher. Asher. I think Asher should be more often. And more often, A S H. E R. I know it is one, but I think it should be used more. Use it more. Zebulim. Actually, use more biblical names just for fun and uniqueness. Z E B U L U N. Dan and Nephetel. N A P H T I. No, T A I L. The Levites shall recite all. The people of Israel. Wait, yeah. The Levites shall recite to all the people of Israel with a loud voice. So listen carefully. This is the standard rule. One is the standard, of course. Also, all the other rules, laws, we will hold Israel against later in the story. This is the standard. Cursed is, cursed is anyone who makes an idol and 
No. A de a thing detestable to the Lord, the work of skilled hands, and sets it up in secret. That's one standard. Then all the people said, Amen. Amen means I agree, so they agreed to that standard. Cursed, cursed is anyone who dishonors their father and, or mother. All the people, then all the people said, Amen. So that's another one. Agree to. Cursed, cursed is anyone who moves their neighbor's boundary stone. Then all the people said, Amen. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Oh, that was the last two, too. Then all the people shall say, Amen, and all the people shall say, Amen. So, well, I will imagine if someone, like, the parents die. It's just the kids taking care of the land. The kids, doesn't really matter. Or just, in any case, someone just moves a boundary stone just a little bit so no one notices and slowly over time gains more and more land. What if it's just against some kids who can't defend themselves easily? Literally stealing land. Uh, uh, anyway. Cursed, cursed is anyone who leads the blind astray on the road. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who, who withholds justice from the foreigner, fatherless, the foreigner, the fatherless, or the widow. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who sleeps with his father's wife, for he dishonors her, his father's bed. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who has sexual relationship relations with any animals. <coughs> yep. Amen. Uh, then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is, cursed is anyone who sleeps with his sister, the daughter of his father, or the daughter of his mother. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Well, there goes the Hasbrook Dynasty, um, and no, I'm not making an Alabama joke. Then, uh, no, cursed is anyone who sleeps with his mother-in-law. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who kills their neighbor secretly. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who accepts a bribe to kill an innocent person. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who does not uphold the words of this law by carrying them out. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Oh yes. Tonight, Laurel, whatever, that monster thing, strikes Louisiana and Texas. You don't be watching this later, probably, way after the event actually takes place. So you already know how many people died, how much money, well, was lost, but more importantly, of course, how many people died. But the thing is, that's also a major power area. In other words, a lot of power plants and other things are there too. So this could wipe out power for a lot of places. And their flood warnings are going all the way up into Arkansas. And they're still expecting hurricane force winds in Arkansas. So you know... You watching this video, you will know what the damage is. If you're watching this re after upload, 
I guess I will make some progress reports tomorrow. Maybe a few others. But other than that, hi. Other than that, I I guess I do hope people got out in time. For the people who are there, I hope they're safe. I hope no one's doing anything stupid, like sur trying to surf the waves. <sighs> yeah. I hope no one stayed because of they think, oh no, I'm gonna be spraying COVID. You know, like, that would be a stupid reason. Yes, exactly. That's why I hope no one does it. But, yeah, I hope it's not too bad, but it's a Category 4 after all. This is going to be the worst storm of 2020 so far uh, as of recording this. And I hope there won't be one worse. But who knows, this is 2020. We're going to be lucky if we don't get, like, car. 50 category fives in the Gulf of Mexico. And yes, I'm saying something absolutely ridiculous, so hopefully it won't be that bad. Anyway, um. Yeah, 10 18 after that. Good night.